welcome to When Nerds Learn to Fly. So, do we want to talk about how we ended up with four baby bunnies? So we got a, a call from our neighbor, what, around 7 o'clock in the evening. She knew that we had um, taken care of squirrels, raised a few baby squirrels and things like that before, and asked us if we were interested in taking care of two baby bunnies that, um, I guess there was a trench or some construction that was going on and disturbed the nest, and so... And they had already had them for a full day. For a full day. day. <laughs> it's always best to, to leave baby bunnies where they are because of... Um, Apparently the mothers usually only come by the nest maybe twice a day. Um, they don't want to draw attention to the babies, and so they'll just do a five-minute feeding for each one, and then they move away. So most of the time the, the mother is not, not around the nest. So it unfortunately was too late. These people had removed them and called Sandy, and Sandy got in contact with us. I've... I've uh, raised baby bunnies before long 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 time ago so we we got them home um, hydrated them got them a box ready with the heating pad set on low to keep them warm um, they they say that you don't have to have a heating pad that they'll keep each other warm but with them having been exposed for quite some time after after leaving their nest, we felt like we needed to, to keep them a little bit warm. And then, uh, yeah, so, so we, we had were, two bunnies. So we were able to get, get some milk in them. Um, a mixture of kitten formula and whipping cream. So this is the mix that I am using to feed the bunnies with. Um, you can also add probiotics to it, which will help their intestinal tract. But we are using the Pet Ag Milk Replacer for cats. Um, it has more nutrients and is richer than puppy formula, so it's what's recommended. It's three parts of this to three parts of water and then one part of heavy, heavy whipping cream. Again, uh, rabbits have very, very rich milk. They, at first they weren't too receptive to it, but they eventually took it and made us feel a lot more comfortable. Um, they slept through the night, and then around 10 in the morning we ended up getting a knock at the door. Um, a stranger was... <laughs> I guess they were a neighbor from down the down the street, and they ended up um, saying, "Well, do you did you guys get two bunnies yesterday?" <laughs> they said, "Yes." Said, "So you guys are well known." <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> they were like, "Oh." They said, "We we got two more that we found, and they were looking pretty tiny. Um, either they were tired and sleepy, or they just weren't moving. But that concerned us because usually, if they're their ears are up, they're a little more active. Um, so we took those in, so now we had four, and um, that was yesterday? That was yesterday, and we are estimating that they are over a week old because their eyes are open and their ears are starting to, to stand up, but I don't think... I, Ten days, maybe, but not two weeks yet. They still are pretty dark. Their hair is still pretty slick to their body. They start to look a little more fluffy in about the third week. I think about the third week. They, that, <laughs> that hair gets fluffier instead of slick to the body and gets lighter. They're still pretty dark. They're not black anymore but they're still pretty dark. We're very lucky that these rabbits are about 10 days old. Their eyes are open so we don't have to stimulate them to 
urinate or poop, that's a nice perk. The first two that they brought us, one was bigger than the other and and they were a fair size. The second two they brought us, one of them was absolutely tiny. Almost half the size of yeah. the largest one. I don't know if that's the runt or <laughs> if it was born at a later time, but yes, um, we now have four baby bunnies that we are taking care of. Um, Let's get to feeding. Okay, which one are you taking? We got to name them too. What are we going to name them? You don't like big one, small one, big two, small two? No. We'll uh, be thinking of names for these cutie pies. Why don't you grab one of them that you're going to feed and... Just, just try not to disturb too many of them all at once if I can keep from it. Uh, and that doesn't work too well. Hey, guy. And who do you have? I think you have big two, right? Or is that big? This no. This might be big one. Okay, I can't tell them apart anymore. I think this is big one. So who am I going to get? So it, it helps to wrap them in a... Cloth. They're kind of cuddled and in a pocket. And you always feed them upright so that they don't aspirate. This is the bottle that I'm using and I have put additional marks on it so that we can calculate about five milliliter marks because that is about what they should be eating at this point is five to seven milliliters. It gives us a more accurate uh, view. I take a bowl of water, heat it, and then place the bottles in the warm water to warm the milk so that you don't scald any little bunnies. He's checking the formula on his wrist to make sure it's not too hot. There is no possible way to insert the nipple between the front teeth. It just isn't possible. So you insert the nipple from the side, in between the side teeth, and then work it around to the front. And so the goal is to get it right in the, uh, the divot, right underneath the nose, um, and past the teeth to where the, the, they kind of open their mouth up um, and kind of latch their front four teeth onto the nipple. You gotta kinda get their nose in a position where you can get the, so you can kinda see there. Usually I'll try to get them to open by wiggling around. Wiggling a it bit. around, push, uh, squeeze the bottle a little bit to give a little bit of flavor so they kinda might get interested in uh, latching on. They'd much rather have Mama. So there's the cigar <laughs> kind of look. And then hopefully you can move it around. And, and there you, you go. pop it in, there, there it goes. Look at that. There's so much success when they finally do that. All right, I'm going to get mine and get started. Oh, so sweet. Again, it's... It's always best to leave them with their mother. They have a much better chance with their mother. We were not the ones who removed these from their mother, but we are now the ones that are caring for them. This is our latest project. Yeah, these guys are adorable. I am totally in love. Always an adventure. Yeah, that's us.